What's up, Wastelanders? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing great, and I hope you are too. It's me, Kiki B. Welcome to a brand new episode of Kiki B Plays Fallout 76. Have you ever thought, hey, prefabs are really cool, but you know what would make them amazing? Is if they floated in midair for absolutely no reason. Well, I thought that, so here I am to make your day and your camp at least 14% crazier with this super easy floating prefab hack. I want to give a shout out to Greengrass28G, whose video on doing this trick with the Nuka-Cola crate stalls was what inspired me to explore what other crazy stuff this would work on, so I've linked to their video down in the description and up in the card. Go check that out and give them some love. It's good stuff. And of course, before we start building, if you love what I do here and you're interested in supporting the channel, you know the drill. You can do that over on Patreon or by becoming a channel member right here on YouTube. Head on over to patreon.com slash or click on that join button right below this video to find out more. Of course, subscribing and turning on channel notifications really helps me out and is completely free. So what are you waiting for? Go do that right now if you haven't already. I will wait. Are you done? Good. And maybe give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment to feed the YouTube algorithm and my ego. You know, I live for your praise and validation. And, you know, don't forget to join us over on the Happy Camper Discord, Instagram, and Twitch. We would love to see you all there. Okay, I'm done with all of that now. Let's get building. So this is really easy to do. It doesn't require any special items except the prefab that you want to use it with. Um, it doesn't work with all prefabs, but I will show you exactly which ones do work in just a minute. So slap down a foundation, one or more staircases, depending on how high you want the thing to be, and an upper floor. Now you're going to grab any doorway wall, put a door in it, and change the doorway to a solid or windowed wall. This will allow you to remove the wall and leave a floating door behind. Now you can remove your floors and stairs, and then you're just gonna grab a prefab and snap it to the floating door. It's that easy. To remove all of this, just remove the door first, and then you'll be able to scrap the prefab. So you won't be stuck with any kind of weird floating structures that you can't get rid of if you change your mind later. In fact, I recommend keeping the doors on the prefabs while you build so that you can't accidentally scrap the building. So which prefabs does this work with? Well, there are quite a few. We've got the Helvetia Butcher Shop, the train car, any color of the bungalow campers, and the concrete mausoleum. Then there's stuff with trailer doors, the makeshift mega mansion, the destroyed trailer, and the mobile home trailer all float. Of course, this works with the Nuka-Cola crate stalls, yay, the circus trailer, and finally, the landlubber pirate ship. I do want to note that if the prefab has a specific door that goes with it, you should probably use that for the float. Some will do it with any door, but not all of them will. So now that we know how to do this, why the fuck should we bother? Well, that's a great question, and the obvious answer is because we can. And also there are some practical uses, like placing prefabs underground, which can be cool, like this burial crypt that I used the concrete mausoleum in. Obviously, if I were properly building this, the entrance would look a lot better, but this is just to give you a vague idea. You can also use this trick to place the train car prefab on actual railroad tracks, which is awesome, and I know is something we've probably all wanted to do at some point. It's pretty easy, and you're just going to plop a foundation down so that it's halfway over the tracks and about this high, and you have to do this one sideways because we all know the train car door is so weird. So do the same trick, get your floating door, and then change it to the train car door and then snap your train car down onto it. Another cool practical use for this is stacking a whole bunch of structures into a Crimson Prospect style garbage heap like this one. And you can see I stacked the destroyed trailer up on the billboard this way and put a Nuka Cherry crate at the top of the pile. So beautiful. This is just the height of wasteland elegance right here. Pun partially not intended. So that's it for me today, folks. It was a quick and easy one. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed and you've turned on those channel notifications so you don't miss out on the next absolutely amazing video. If you liked this and you're interested in supporting the channel, check out that Patreon link or click on the join button right below this video. Of course, join us over on the Happy Camper Discord, Instagram, and Twitch. We would love to see you there. And with that, folks, take care of yourselves, be good to each other, and I will see you in the next video.